Welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode and to my little chicken farm. Uh, yeah, I did mention, I think it was in the previous episode about these chickens. I decided to take them out, put them in that fence and breed them a little bit until we had enough of them. And uh, yep, you can hear now that they're starting to produce enough eggs. And every so often one of those eggs will turn into a chicken, which will just stay in this little box here. So we can use those for blood magic if we want to. I want to continue breeding them, however, until there's quite a few more than this. There's probably about 40 chickens in there right now. A few hundred will be better but um yeah that 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 may cause some issues with the game hopefully not but uh, i'll give it a try and i'll report back to you if that's the case however we're not today we're not going to looking at chickens because we need they need time to breed uh, and other than saying uh yeah just keep some seeds and uh yeah just just try and breed them i guess uh, otherwise you can just pick them up with lassoes or lasso or have you pronounce that and uh that's fine so yep i'm just getting free feathers uh, today we're going to be getting on with more tech side stuff and we'll come back to the blood magic probably next episode. In particular we need to get the industrial 4 going and to get to that we're going to need to look at the quests which we have a bunch of stuff to start with, industrial 4 going. Here we have the tree fluid extractor which is basically our route to latex uh, usually and that means our route towards um, plastics. So um, yeah, so tree fluid extractor. Do we have everything we need for that? We do! Good. One tree fluid extractor. Uh, do be aware that when you make stuff in AE2, in Miami Crafting Terminal, uh, when you put them in the... Uh, when you make them, make sure to put them in your own inventory, pull them out of AE2, otherwise this may not actually complete, depending on your quest system in your particular pack. Just remember to always pull at least one of them out so that you can actually do this. So there we go, and we'll just take a... Uh, I guess we'll take a loot chest. I'll just take the first one every time. Uh, Latex processing unit is the next thing, but before I get to that, this tree fluid extractor, I can never remember if this actually requires power or not. So... I'm just going to assume that it uh, doesn't and uh, just give that a try. Let's get some wood. Shouldn't matter what type of wood. Just put that in front of the, uh, the stuff here and you can see, yep, doesn't require any power. It will slowly fill up with latex and there is a latex tank there, etc, etc. And we can pull the latex out. So that will just continually and very, very slowly break this piece of oak wood. Now, uh, important thing there is that eventually this will break. When it does, you need to replace it with something. You could just put some kind of dropping uh, block there if you wanted to. For me, however, I'm not too bothered about actually doing that. So I'm just going to get a latex processing unit, which is the next step in the process. Uh, we do need to make one. However, I think I got one through a loot chest, so I already have one. However, make them, it's pretty much the same kind of stuff. A machine case is going to need some of the IC2 rubber. Otherwise, you know, straightforward stuff. And uh, we can get that one. Hopefully a, uh, yep, latest processing unit. Give me give me another loot chest, please. Uh, yep, I'll take one of those. And it leads into rubber itself. So we need tiny dry rubber, dry rubber, and plastic. And we just need one of each. So if we just take our latex processing unit, which does, I think, require power. Um, I never remember. And let me just try it anyway. Yes, it does require power. You can see. See right there. Uh, let's just take that and let's just drop you down right about here for now. That's going to fill up perfectly fine. And then we need to basically pipe stuff from one into another. So uh, what we can do, is, this is matching a second wood block. Uh, one thing to note is that um, you probably get about a bucket worth of latex for every log that it actually goes through. So we should just be able to grab this out of here. And for now, we can just dump this into here. Okay. And there is our latex fluid. Uh, we're also going to need some water from somewhere. So let's just grab, at least just get us started. We'll just grab some manual water like that and drop you in there. There it is. So that should start processing, uh, I think. Yeah, there it is. Some tiny dry rubber. That's what we need, first of all. That's one of the three things we need. Dry rubber is nine of that. And then plastic is nine of that. So, uh, yes. <laughs> So basically, this is 81 tiny dry rubber. Now, I put a one bucket of latex in here, and we'll have to see how much we get out of it. However, you can see right now, that used up all of the water. Yes, I'm clearly not going to want to be putting water manually in here. So we need some way of getting water in, and, uh, well, water. What options do we have? I think we probably want one, something like this, Nuclear Craft 1, if that's available already. Uh, it looks like it can be. We just need two buckets. Uh, and we need those both to be filled with water. So let's grab them from our sink. There we go. And let's put those in place. So one, two. 
and one infinite water source. Produces 20 make it 20 mini mi oh wow, my voice. <laughs> 20 millibuckets of water per tick. And uh, that you basically times that by 20 to get the times per second. So that's gonna be, you know, two and a half seconds per bucket of water. And if we put that down, uh, I'm not sure whether it'll just put it work on any side. So let's just put it on top. And yeah, it's working fine. You can see it right there. And up it's going. And it's starting to produce tiny dry rubber. So we need to basically get see needs. I want to see how much one bucket worth of latex will actually get us. Uh, to do that, I'm just gonna. Oh, you've already finished with the next bucket worth. Oh, not quite as much this time. So, yeah, more like 800 milli buckets per per actual log. And down that goes. So it's gonna get to the bottom here, and uh, that's gonna be pretty much it. So 13. Per bucket or 13 per log. Brings I'm going to probably have to put a stack of uh, about 10 logs through this thing. So I'm going to just break that for a second. Uh, this place is facing away from you, if I remember rightly. So if I put that down this way, you facing outwards, you are. And then you could think of also putting some kind of block placer, but this thing should actually uh, should work. Uh, however, I'm just wondering, can we actually configure this to have? Whoops to have uh, sides on this to pull in from one side or the other. I think you can, but it's been a little while since I've done it, so I need to go and check. Okay, I don't think they do automatically output, unfortunately, so we need to just convince the, the fluid to run so I don't have to keep moving buckets around. And to do that, we're just going to use our alloy smelter, I think, alloy furnace, I should say, and put basically some steel and some silicon together. We'll get electrical steel out of that, which is good because we're going to use that in turn to make uh, the new type of stuff from mechanism to basically transfer fluids, basic mechanical pipe. So let me just grab that. And I think I'm just going to put this behind the scenes uh, out here somewhere. Um, in fact, yep, I don't need this curtain wall necessarily. We can just have it be pipe. And let, we'll see if this actually lets me transfer stuff from one to the other. Uh, do I need any kind of interface for doing this? I never remember. Basically, basic mechanical pipe. I need to go and consult the wiki for that as well. Um, yes. So uh, how much are we? No, not only 12. Right. Okay. I need to go and sort that out. And the block we need is called a configurator. We get given it as part of that. So it was in my A2 inventory. And uh, yep, we just need to change that over. I always sort of prefer wrenches wherever possible, but this one will do fine. So if we just go across to here, we can shift uh, shift scroll wheel this into configurate fluids mode. And from this point, we can actually just shift right click on the block to decide what we actually want it to do. So in this case, we're going to set this to uh, push, I think. Uh, let's pull. Uh, that's uh, no pull is fine. Yes, I'm going to pull from that block into here, which will then go into this block. So you should now have fluid uh, latex and you should not be building up any. Nope, that's consistently going out. So we don't have to do anything else and everything is everything is happy. So that can just be covered up and we are OK. Just leaving that as is. Now, of course, eventually you will well, not eventually, but every so often you need to pop past and actually drop down one of your oak wood logs. But other than that, it should be pretty much automatic. And you can see here we're already up to 36. So we only need 81 and it will take it very little time to actually do that. So what actually happens, let's take a look at our loot chest and see what we have from these. First is a charger. I already got one. Don't need another one. And we've got a shulker shell. OK, I'll just dump that in there. Is there any uses for this? Uh, whoops, uses for this. Uh, we can make a bulk bushulk a box. Um, okay. Don't really use those. And we can make a vanilla to iron shulk a box upgrade. No, it's using some recipes. It's used to make wyvern cores, of all things, in a carpenter. That's a little crazy. Especially if it's ludicrous what you make wyvern core. Yeah, that's an expert mode pack for you. Uh, speaking of which, I think oh, I'm hoping the Kappa mode of Project Ozone 3 is coming out soon. Because um, I did Project Ozone 3, but I was hoping that Kappa mode would come out and then I could play Kappa mode, but it's just taking a while to get there. So uh, some some lucky people, um, oh, mentioning no names, uh, YouTubers have access to the, the beta of that. And uh, yeah, I'm jealous. But I did Project Ozone 2 Kappa mode, of course. And I got all the way to the end of that, or well, pretty much to the end, to the point at which it, it becomes, 
just laborious uh, and no, no real no real benefit to do it anymore. But yeah, I did enjoy that quite a lot. So I'm looking forward to seeing Project 2003 Kappa mode. In any case, I just need to leave this now. There's not much else I can do. Uh, so that quest is there, and that's going to take us towards this mob's slaughter factory, which is where we get the pink slime to enable other parts of the pack. If we just have a look at pink slime for a second. Pink slime. And take a look at what this actually makes. Uh, lots of crafting recipes, of course. But uh, yeah, some of the things are slime generators. Uh, machine frames is one of the things we actually need. And machine frames, uh, without that, we can't get further into the pack to get uh, all kinds of other stuff. In particular, I think there's an extra... I think it's one of the... Uh, where is it? It's going to be in here somewhere. It's going to be one of the other type of basic frames that you actually need to make this with. And I can never remember the name of it. Are you going to tell me? No, clearly you're not. Ah, there it is. Machine frames from thermal expansion. Can't make those without these, and you can't make these without pink slime. Yeah, it's again an expert mode mod pack, and you need to kill a pink slime that will spawn when placing some pink slime fluid in the world. So you're going to need to get pink slime fluid, and that's gotten by the mob slaughter factory. And of course, we have an option there. Instead of actually going getting cattle or something, we can presumably use our chicken farm over there uh, just with uh, a mob slaughter factory. We don't want to be too over the top on, on slaughtering because we want some for our blood magic, but otherwise it's going to work fine, I think. And that's working fine as well. Cool. Right, is there anything else we can do? I think I'm going to fast forward until that's done and then we'll carry on. All right, that's done. So we can go and grab our tiny dry rubber. That will be more than good enough for this particular quest. And we can just get our dry rubber, which is the next... Uh, point up that will get us that in the quest which it has and then we can just basically dump all the rest in there so let's just dump all of you all of you and just process all of that turn this into this uh oh hang on was that not how you did this um latex or so plastic is it just smelting it's probably just smelting it um yes it's just smelting it <laughs> it's one of those things uh so uh yes let's just grab that Dump it all into our electric furnace. And off it goes. There's our plastic. That gets us the quest, which gets us the loot chest. And we claim it for more goodies. And goodies are what we want. Uh, okay, I can use that um, at some point for something. There's eight of them, I guess. <laughs> so uh, in here now, uh, where are we? Industrial 4 going? We have all of these things opening up. So black hole storage, so I think that's the same as deep storage was in MFR. This used to be MFR. Uh, sludge refiner, bleh. <laughs> enchantment extractor, plant sower. Plant sower is, is actually quite useful. Uh, laser base needs a lot of power. We don't have that much power yet. Animal feeder, yes, good. Although the rancher, I think, is it, is it the rancher? Uh, animal rancher is the usual thing. That's the sort of breeding thing that, that uh, we can create. And how hard is that to create? That's not too bad, I don't think. We could use that for our chickens, I suppose. Uh, we need power over there, though, so that's not... Mm, well, yeah, that's going to need power. <laughs> but otherwise, we can use a rancher. In the meantime, however, because we need to get into further mods, we need to be able to get to the mob slaughter factory, which means, <clears throat> in here, this machine will kill animals and enemies to produce meat and pink slime. Uh, enemies, interesting. So if we get enough power for that, we could put it near our sort of very horrible mob farm and uh, get that going. So let's just add that to our favorites and let's just see how much in the system we have for a mob slaughter factory. Oh, almost nothing. <laughs> we need more plastic, but we've just made plastic, so that's not going to be a problem for that. Whoops. Uh, bop you in there. And then the rest is going to be uh, it's bits and pieces, isn't it? So, um, okay. That's not too bad now. Advanced machine casing. Uh, still need more stuff. Advanced machine casing needs steel plates. And we can make that already. So I'm going to go make some more steel plates. Unless I've got some. Uh, some steel ingots. Yeah, so steel plates. We're just going to convert those over using our smeltery. Uh, in fact, we can probably just roll them. Uh, can we use steel plates? Can we just roll them? Uh, steel plates in a metal former? We can. We can just roll it. Good. Um, just don't want to waste it by accidentally just dropping them in there and finding out that's not going to work. So the rest of it is going to need a couple of iron swords, I think. Yeah, a couple of iron swords. So let's just make one, and I'm going to need some more sticks as usual. Uh, I just seem to run out of sticks. 
so so quickly let's just make a few of those okay so as i was saying iron swords that's two of them a couple of iron axes which you know aren't useful for anything else in an expert pack and that leaves uh, nothing apart from gold gears and that is something we'll we'll need the smeltery for at the moment but it won't take us very long at all is that right set up for gold uh, set up for gears already and this will melt really fast it's gold so that should pop into there are we finished with the rolling yet we are let's pop that in place get the rolling done that gets us the advanced machine casing which then gets us uh the machine case which then pretty much is just waiting for the gold gear and uh, there's our gold gear are you going to finish pretty quickly or cool down pretty quickly you are good all right so uh pink slime is the next thing we're actually going to need to that uh pink, place the pink slime in the world to spawn a pink slime okay uh but we need a full bucket of it and uh that will work from there yes now i think we need like um what, what is it now a shringe um i think we can make the pink slime bigger and that means we can get more drops from it so syringe um i want a slime slime syringe if i can get one there we go so mob pink slime yeah we're going to extract essence for that and then we can use that i think uh to get a better version is it a better version bigger mob something like that it's been a while uh no <laughs> okay i need to go and remember how to actually do that there is something that makes slimes bigger and it's been a while uh it's not in beginning is it or something like that no yeah i seem to remember it was something along those lines anyway i'm gonna go and check for that in the meantime i think everything else is pretty much ready uh yeah so there is our mob slaughter factory and that's that complete we just now need the pink slime to my great disappointment it doesn't seem like when it was moved from mfr into industrial four going um that we got this range uh it was called the beginning syringe i am remembering correctly however uh we are probably having to do with the mob duplicator as the alternative and we don't quite have that yet there's some bits and pieces uh i uh, well that's the well what's the porcelain doll porcelain clay clay well, that's not too bad uh blazing doll uh, bits and pieces again not too bad and blaze powder block of emeralds is a bit much for this this particular point it really is and uh, then of course the signalum frame we need to make that as well but yeah so um initially we're just going to get a few big uh, pink slimes and we will then worry about the rest later so i'm just going to take uh some universal cable from our system and i'm just going to get uh, some basically charge from our one of our solar panels we'll take with us cable and let's just get that there yep and let's put this basic mechanical pipe away otherwise i'll get things confused with each other and then we just need one of our solar panels at least temporarily we've got a battery so we can just move one for a little while whoops there we go solar panel and let's head over towards our uh mob farm are there any mobs in here who knows Kill some earlier. Mm, no, no, there isn't. So why don't we just demonstrate the concept on uh, our little, well, our little uh, farm over here? When I say farm, I sort of mean chicken sacrificial zone. What the? That really wasn't just me, was it? Um. Nope, that wasn't just me. Anyway. Ignoring that, that, that's perfectly fine. Nothing, 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 nothing's wrong. What, what on earth is that noise? I'm sorry, I have to find out. Okay, it's a cockatrice. Um, or cockatrice, or however you pronounce that. It is in there, and it's going to make me sick. Oh, nausea, three seconds, two seconds, one second, gone. Uh, yeah, one of the options, it seems, from eggs is that cockatrices can hatch, and I don't want those. Oh, God, go away. I don't want those at all. <laughs> it's going to make me nauseous again. Uh, yes, that was... Oh, another one? <sighs> Fine, I need to get rid of them. Bear with me. There we go. I think I just didn't kill it the first time, so I didn't quite get rid of it. But uh, it's fine. Uh, later on, when we get the sacrifice, uh, the dagger of sacrifice, we'll be able to do to use that basically. So this thing will kill anything in front of it. We'll convert it into liquid meat. At which point, we can pump that out using the same kind of um, 
pipe that I just put in my system instead of out here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> before I actually do that, I'm just going to dump this on top and let's see if this gets it power. It does, which is good. And then we could just do something like grabbing a couple of golden lassoes and uh, see if we can get ourselves some chickens. Uh, yep, yeah, well, there are many chickens, so might I just grab one, please? There's, there's one. And how much how much pink slime do we get from a chicken? Uh, solar generator? Nope, I want the... There we go. So pink slime is 32 millibuckets. We're going to need... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to need uh, not 10 chickens, 30 chickens if we want this. Now, usually this is the point at which you combine this with a breeding farm. You have a separate sort of area of fence. Um, but, you know, I'll just going off this way. And then you have something that separates the youngsters from the adults, and it shuttles the youngsters this way into this mob slaughter factory. So we need to go and take a look at that one. Uh, this we can just take back with us. We don't need it just yet, but you get the idea with the concept. And of course, we can connect it all up together with um, with cable. So, you know, underneath as we need to. OK, so let's take a look at the other components we're probably going to need for this. A minor mistake before, I said we wanted the rancher. It's not the rancher. The rancher is the thing that gets the resources from a mob. So, for example, if you ranched cows, you get milk. That, that's the idea. And squid, you get... Um, Ink, I assume. Uh, anyway, the rancher is not what we need. I think we just want the feeder or whatever it's called. Um, where are you? Animal feeder. There we go. So we'll add that to our favorites, uh, I think. Uh, we want the baby separator as well. That used to be called something else, which was more harder to remember. But animal baby separator is exactly what it actually does. OK, so we want both of those, which means for both of those, we're going to need some emeralds, but we're also going to need some more of these machine cases. And they need, well, basically, more steel and more carbon plates. So I need to obviously make more stuff with IC2 in order to get through that. That, of course, only requires a few bits and pieces. So those are already, well, pretty much done. They're just finishing off now. Uh, there's more advanced alloy, and that can go in there along with this. And then we should be able to get everything we want out. That's my second advanced machine casing. We have enough basic machine casings, but we're going to need to go one further. And we need to get machine cases, so we'll get two of those. That runs me out of all the stuff I need, but animal feeder... Uh, ooh, I need more plastic. Uh, clearly, I need to basically make more of this stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, but that's... Uh, okay, let's just get that sorted out. This should make me three batches. Yep, so that may be enough to get started. Electric furnace, dry rubber... Uh, yes, one. And I'll just feed the rest in, so that can go in there. Make me an animal feeder, please. Yep, there's my animal feeder. What about animal beta separator? Do we have emeralds? Do we have emeralds at all? We do have emeralds. That makes a change. Whenever I want emeralds, normally I just can't find any. Uh, so we just want purple dye, and we'll just make two of that. Animal baby separator then is just going to rely on me getting another gold gear. Uh, gold is going to be in the top, so on one, two, three, four. A couple more plastic more of the plastic is and that can go in there and the gold gear as before now one other thing that i probably want to do is make a block placer uh, let's just put that in place just to basically feed this thing with logs a uh, full stack of logs will go a long long way just so i don't have to keep doing this every so often so uh i just wanted to have a quick look at that uh, block placer uh, probably actually additions would do uh, just placer, auto placer, maybe it's called. Yeah, auto placer. So that requires a couple of things: basic coil and a palace crystal. And you know, well, we should know palace crystal will come from a lapis, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. We're going to need some aluminium wire, which is uh, going to be some shears and one of these plates. And of course, it won't pick unless I choose to do that. So that's a placer. And then what is it? What was the other thing that I said? A uh, palace. So I want lapis. And I just want one of them. Uh, you can put a block on here if you wanted to, but um, there we go. <laughs> I do like that setup. Just throw stuff onto it, just makes you uh, makes you stuff. So that is fine. Placer. And um, that's going to be fine, because I have some Nori crystals, some impregnated sticks, and we have everything we need. Now, I can't remember if this requires a redstone signal or not. Let me just get rid of this. I really need to make a mattock. I do have a mattock, but I just wanted to make a better one before I actually use it in general. So will this point straight upwards? It looks like it will. 
Uh, yeah, we need a redstone torch just to change the mode. Uh, although, if I just put this in here, will this work as is? It will. Okay, so I don't need to do anything whatsoever. Just apart from to get a piece of stone back and to fill that back into the floor. So, yeah, that's easy enough done. And I don't need to do anything for that. So, yeah, that will just carry on making more and more and more dry rubber. Now you could set up uh, another sort of set up here just to take that out and then put it into a smelter. Um, to be honest, I don't think we ever really need that much plastic, or at least not in a normal pack. We'll see about an expert mode pack soon, I'm sure, but normally you only need it to make the machines once. So having a bunch of it is usually fine. Speaking of usually fine, we've got our gold gear. So that means we have a uh, gold gear in there, an animal baby separator and an animal feeder. Animal feeder will be the thing you basically feed in um, like seeds, for example, for chickens. And then the animal baby separator will basically on its back face, if I remember rightly, it uh, basically transfers stuff to the front face. So we just need, uh, well, it's going dark. We just need some more fence. Uh, I'm just gonna need that to just to fence in the animals. Uh, 13 might not be enough. I uh, probably want a little bit more than that. Um, why don't you just give me however many you have? Why can I not just drag that out? 22? Why Why do you not? Why? Uh, that, that is the wrong thing. Yeah, that is the wrong thing. <laughs> Helps. Uh, yeah, I want to shift click in. And I'm going to need more planks. I need some precision sawmill output. There we go. 28. <laughs> need more sticks. Clearly need more sticks. Let's make a couple of stacks of sticks and then just put them in there. That's good. And then back to fence again. Um, that should be more than enough. Yep. And we can always jump over it now. So we don't need any fence gates or anything like that. Let's set that up over back near our chickens. I'm just going to sleep through the night and we'll set it up. So here we are out here and I'm just going to probably set it up right about there, I think. Uh, or no, here, I think. I want it to be as close as possible just for the, the cable more than anything else. So we want to set up the animal baby separator uh, probably here. Yeah, and I need to remember which way around this goes, but I would assume that's the right way around. Um, we can set it up anyway fairly soon, and that's going to be fine. Uh, always active, show working area. Uh, yeah, is that the right way around? Is that the output area or the input area? I'm going to assume that's the input. So I think I need to put this the other way around. Okay, <laughs> I've been wrong before. Okay, and we clearly need that to be larger. So we'll get to range upgrades in a minute, but we want a fence area. And then we want a, a breeding uh, sort of setup. So we want to probably have, well, that's two here. What I'm probably gonna do is go to three. Okay, and uh, there we go. Yeah, go to three, so. Okay, and three by four, probably like that, just to leave me a comfortable enough area to actually get stuff into. So this is three by three, and well, yeah, I've got to be short on cable. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, and then back here, I'm going to have the feeder. Okay, that looks that's looking good. And then we just need to feed underneath some cable, basically. Let me just turn this off because of these shaders are causing some problems. We just need to feed some cables underneath and connect everything up together. Again, we're just going to borrow one of these solar panels. I'll probably make another one uh, fairly soon, just so I can leave one over here. I don't fancy running cable this far. You can just have some, uh, you know, extra power generation. And you can see everything is now connected with cable. So if we just put a, uh, a universal, well, the solar generator down, this should be getting power. You are getting power, good, as are you, which I can put in some seeds and that will try and uh, feed whatever's in front of it. Now, of course, uh, if we have a look at the range on this thing, that also isn't enough. And we look at the range on this thing and the range on this thing. That one's probably going to be OK, to be honest. Uh, so I may have to move it one further away if I put a range upgrade in there. However, I think what I can probably do is just fill in the rest of this with fence because I don't really need anything there. They can just go into that one block space and be fine. However, this side, we actually do want to increase these. So we need a range upgrade for that. Uh, let's just get back to the base range upgrade. Um, let's just see if I can actually make them. Let's just see what are options that we have range uh, upgrade, uh, not called range, uh, range add ons. Yeah, so range add ons are plus one. 
is plastic. You remember I said I need a little bit of plastic? Well, yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more plastic. A bit more plastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't need very much of it. I Honestly, you shouldn't need very much of it. Uh, let's just put you in here. Get that done, and that'll get us two plastic, which we can then use for other things. Uh, did I borrow the... I did borrow a couple of these. Uh, let me just put them back in here. There we go. Three plastic. That'll give me one range upgrade, and of course we can get the other one off camera, but uh, range upgrade, so range add-on, sorry, range add-on. There we go. Uh, unless there's better ones with plus two. No, no, I just want plus one for the moment. So that's one. And I need a second piece of plastic for the second one. But the principle is the same. We just head over to our blood altar area and uh, we'll tidy it up fairly soon. However, in the meantime, we're going to just basically uh, basically put in a range uh, add on here. And that now should have a larger range. Yeah, you can see even though it's a black cube, it is now up to three by three because a range add on it's radius, not di diameter. So plus one and it was previously one that means plus one on every side so it goes up to three by three which is exactly what we want and we want another one in here however in the meantime we also want to um just grab oh we got a chicken there already let me just grab you uh although that's gonna be in a growing cooldown no maybe not i actually don't want one in here and maybe another one from in here as well okay a couple of chickens and let's just dump them in here so what we should find, if we put these down, it will feed them both. They will mate and produce a smaller chicken. And if that chicken strays into the range of that thing, it should get sucked through the... Or I could remember, remember to put a fence on the top of these things because that block counts as something they can get over. Uh, yes, yes. I end up with more, more chickens needed. Um... <laughs> Yes, do remember to keep all your chickens in the place you're going to uh, donate their, um, their, their, their special special ingredients to uh, the gods. Um, off we go, another chicken there. Let's just put you in here and uh, everything should now uh, not have as much problem. Uh, yep, you shouldn't be able to step out of there. Right? Right? Let's try that again, shall we? With uh, another donation donated chicken um one of you and why don't we just grab a second one as well um we're probably going to want more than just the, the pair in there we're actually going to want more than that uh so let's just do this and this and both of them should breed let's try that again and yep the the baby got sucked through immediately and got pulled into the um the the donation box uh, and we've got 128 millibuckets. So all we need to do is really leave them in here and make sure we have seeds. So it's appropriate that we probably want to have a wheat farm at some point to keep everything running. And that is going to be something I need to get to. Not going to be this episode, but uh, we should just be able to use the planter uh, from the same mod. Planter, man, um, not called the planter. Why are you not called the things I expect you to be called? Uh, see, plant sower? Yes, there's a plant sower. And then there's a separate um, separate block used to harvest it. Plant sower, plant gatherer. Yeah, I prefer one of them rather than two. I think there's the farmer. Uh, do we have a farm already from our, um, our existing uh, sort of loot crate system? I think I already got one. Let's have a look in here. Now, what I normally end up trying to use it for, and it doesn't work for, is a tree farm. This thing does not do tree farms particularly or at all well. However, what it should do, I think, is a wheat farm. So if we have a farmer block and uh, some some power, we sh it should actually work. So if I just pop it down, are we going to have enough space to get the cable? Oh, cable's not going to be too going too well here. Why don't I just try it and we'll see. Let's put down a farmer block. It's going to be facing me, is it? Yeah. Okay. And... Let's just put that down and then we need to go underneath and basically get that powered up. So it shouldn't be terrible considering where we are. OK, there is water still under there, but that is going to be OK. We'll just basically fit all that in with universal cable and everything will be hopefully happy. Yep. And I've got some dirt just to fill it back up. 
Yep, there goes our farmer, and unfortunately it will farm everything, but um, <laughs> I don't want it to farm everything, I just want it to farm wheat. So I'm just going to demolish the rest of this for a second. It automatically by default works in a 9x9. Nine nine. So you don't need to worry about anything else here, and it should automatically... Oh, it's already cutting more space than I actually wanted it to. I actually probably should put it further over, or right here, something like that. But I was just running out of cable... I probably have I probably have enough actually so yeah I'm just gonna move it over to okay and you can go there like that okay and then we'll just basically do this and put it down and I've got a bunch of vegetables I didn't really expect before but now I guess we do and I don't want it to plant the same stuff again so I'm gonna deprive it of everything Otherwise, it will plant the stuff I don't want it to. And I'm just going to get rid of this, and we can move those into a manual farm. So that should just replant wheat and wheat alone, at which point it's going to start building up in here in addition to everywhere else. So we'll be able to use that to feed the chickens or anything else, really, at this point. Um, yeah, uh, this is trying to plant everything that's in there, as I said before. So let me clean it up. Just one final change to the farm. We're just going to make a sprinkler from uh, Cyclic. Uh, there is also the open block sprinkler as well. I'm not sure which actually is better. Will this go straight on top of there? Or will it, uh, yeah. Well, it is on top of water, technically. Hopefully that actually will help right there. Otherwise, I may have to move it up. I kind of want to move, move that up. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's liking that too much. But let me just get, get out of there. Uh, everything's drying out. Let me just go and grab another bucket of water from our system. Bucket. Uh, clay bucket will do for water, I guess. Okay, and let me just put that back where it was, and then let me just put a block in place of some kind. Yeah, just temporarily. Okay, how about now I put you there? Okay, that's, that, that's look, that looks better. And uh, we'll have, well, that system will replant everything. And hopefully that's going to make everything grow faster. Yep, you can see it is growing faster. And this should... Oh, I've got the selector on. This is the Animaniacs thing. Uh, Animaniacs? Animania. Um, that's an entirely different thing. Uh, showing my age. Um, yes, so let's just put those away. And we've got 21 seeds just to do whatever we like with it. In our case, we're just going to head over here. And what we should find is uh, I moved all the chickens over from here. Well, not all of them, but a good proportion of them back over so that they could breed, uh, particularly with that feeder at the back. And we can just make sure we put some more seeds in there. That's going to work perfectly well. And in here we have nearly, nearly a bucket of pink slime. So you can imagine um, as each chicken is getting bred like that, uh, more and more pink slime is going through. So 906. Oh, wait a second. That's another one. 992. Oh, come on. Honestly, I just need one more set. So that's easy enough. I've still got some up here. So we can just grab. Oh, that sounded like it actually gave me enough, but let me just grab another pair from up here, and uh, that should definitely make sure that we have enough. Okay. Uh, yep, and can we actually get a pink slime from that? No, we need a regular bucket, I assume. Uh, yeah, we need a regular bucket. Let me just go make one, and then we'll go and get our first pink slime. And here we go. Am I might you're not going to give me a are you not going to give me a bucket? Really? Uh pink slime? Pink slime. Do I need to put this in a tank of some kind? I doubt it. Pink slime bucket. Well, through a transposer, but it should yeah, it should output. Yeah, why why are you not outputting? That that's strange. Um well, Maybe I have to also output the liquid meat. Yeah, okay, so let me just make sure I output... What, let me just output this to the top. So I'm going to make sure that only outputs to the top. And then this thing only outputs to the back. Okay, and then if I put a tank on top, hopefully it should actually output somewhere where I can actually grab it. Because uh, obviously there's only one thing here, but uh, you'd expect it to be there as well. So yeah, anyway, let's give it a try with a tank. 
Okay, I set this up just like as we did before with the uh, the latex. In this case, this is set to pull basically, you know, well push. It's pushing it into the pipe and down into this fluid tank. Or now, can I pick you up with this? I can. Good. So one pink slime bucket. You're going to want to take this over somewhere uh, like this. Just dig a small hole and drop in your pink slime, and then wait. Uh, that really didn't. Oh, okay, that's just the shader. That looks very, very weird. It's just the shader. So put it down and wait with your Emiratic Shuriken. This is the one with Look 3 on it, because we want to hopefully get uh, as much sort of output from this as possible. And you just got to wait for it to actually spawn. Oh, there here he is. Here's a little buddy. And we got one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, we need to. But uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, however, this will continue to build up. And of course, I have enough chickens here that it will build up off camera. So that's the important thing. We've got the ability to make pink slime, which unlocks a bunch of other stuff. In particular, the, the stuff we really want is, of course, the machine frame, which unlocks thermal expansion machines. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sure people uh, watching this will, may well improve on this. If you can improve on it, do put it down in the comments below what you did to do that. And uh, yeah, I'm sure, well, in particular, like the mob, the, the uh, wheat farm is uh, certainly improvable, getting it faster. I'm not sure if we have anything yet. Do we have imaginary time blocks in this? No, we don't. Uh, time turner? No. Uh, okay. Lily pad? Uh, well, lily pad of fertility, maybe? Uh, no, not so far. So yeah, I guess we're going to have to go for other sort of approaches for speeding up crops. If you know any, aside from just the usual kind of sprinklers I've been using, uh, do let me know. Otherwise, you can just hear various, various chickens growing. I moved all this down by one, by the way, because uh, the eggs were hitting the back of chickens that were already just sat here. So now it actually goes one above, then falls down. And this is the right kind of height anyway for once you actually need to sacrifice them. So yeah, everything is quite nice here. And uh, more and more pink slime. Do remember, you will need to probably eventually empty out the liquid meat. Uh, so we, you need to pull that out of a different uh, different side. I could probably move this to like cable here, and then pull it out into a tank on the back side as well if we wanted that for a different purpose. But for now, I think I will leave that for today's episode, and we'll see you next time for some more Enemaka 2 Expert Mode. If you've got any questions, put them in comments below. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell for notifications, put the comments down below as normal. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.